Hello, this is Scott Bacena, editor of Telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2024. And I'm delighted to be talking to Steve from Amdoc. So, Steve, what's been your main theme of the show? Uh, well, for us, we're talking about how do we continue to take our customers to the cloud. Uh, we've been very engaged with them, getting their core BSS system to the cloud over the past year. Uh, but now we're looking at more of a value-led modernization approach. Our hypothesis is a lot of the easy workloads to move to the cloud have been done, uh, and we need uh, an AI-enabled, automated way to assess large portfolio of applications that have, made, that have uh, possibly more complicated routes to the cloud to figure out what the best approach is to get those workloads to the cloud. Uh, and what value the business will, will drive by moving those things to the cloud. So uh, value-led modernization is uh, what we've been telling our customers. And, uh, and does Amdocs have a very sort of distinctive or novel approach to modernization? Sure, yes. Yeah. So uh, the, the idea right now is uh, we believe the, 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 the lift and shift workloads where you don't have to look deeply into the application, uh, we believe there's less of those in today's cl uh, cloud mature world. And uh, the applications that still need to move to the cloud are the ones that are either going through some kind of replatforming uh, or some kind of refactoring uh, to leverage cloud native technologies. So the challenge is the application teams that manage those applications today may or may not have cloud skill sets. They may not know the best route to get those workloads into the cloud. So how can we bring tooling uh, and, and artificial intelligence to rapidly assess a large portfolio of applications and come up with hypotheses on how those individual applications would benefit being modernized into the cloud at scale. And then we help our customers actually execute on that plan. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds like it's got some real um, sort of business benefit. I, perhaps to finish off, you could uh, talk us through the, the, the sort of business environment. What, what made Amdocs think that this is uh, an area that needs um, development and, and new products? Sure, uh, well, a lot of our, we, we deal in a lot of legacy software where we are, and we know our customers, even beyond Amdocs, have a, a lot of legacy workloads uh, that will benefit from moving to the cloud. Uh, a, a great example is uh, we recently made an acquisition of a mainframe to cloud company. A lot of uh, telco wireline companies have really old mainframe systems that uh, would uh, benefit moving to the cloud because they have a retiring workforce or they've lost the source code and they're not quite sure how to maintain those systems on the mainframe. Uh, so we brought tools that uh, uh, allow us, again, to assess uh, the millions of lines of codes, the number of applications, the number of integrations that are made into those applications, and to come up with a point of view on what it would take to automate the language translation to cloud native technologies and move those workloads into the cloud. So that's, that's an example of very antiquated technology, but you yep. can it applies also to x86 infrastructure or x86 architectures as well. So we have another set of tools that can scan those code bases and also come up with a heuristic on um, uh, whether we can improve co uh, code elegance, uh, whether we can improve the security of those applications, the resiliency of those applications by moving them to the cloud, and then we can come up with like effort estimates and actually get the work done as well. Brilliant, that's great, thanks a lot. No worries.